How to Conduct Design Validation Conducting design validation requires following a series of steps and methods to ensure the effectiveness and usability of the design. The following are the general steps for conducting design validation. Define design objectives. Before starting the design validation process, it is essential to clarify the design objectives and expected outcomes. These objectives should align with user needs and business goals. Determine validation methods. Based on the design objectives and product characteristics, choose appropriate validation methods. These can include prototype testing, user surveys, laboratory testing, observation, and user testing. Design Validation Plan Develop a detailed validation plan, including the timing, location, participants, tasks, and evaluation metrics. Ensure that the validation process is well-organized and structured. Create prototypes or samples. Based on the design proposal, create interactive prototypes or samples for validation and testing. The prototypes should include core features and design elements to be why creating prototypes through Axure, you can quickly validate your design. Conduct validation testing. Invite target users or test participants to take part in the validation testing according to the validation plan. Testing can be conducted in a laboratory environment or real-life scenarios. Collect data and feedback. During the validation process, collect user behavior data, opinions, and feedback. Data collection can be done through surveys, interviews, observations, and recording user interactions. Analyze and evaluate results. Analyze the collected data and feedback to evaluate the product's usability, user experience, and compliance with objectives. Identify issues and improve design. Based on the validation results, identify design issues and areas for improvement. Optimize the design proposal to address user feedback and enhance the product. Repeat validation process. If necessary, conduct multiple rounds of validation to ensure the effectiveness and stability of improvements. Summarize results and report. Summarize the validation findings and prepare a validation report. Share the validation results with the design team and relevant stakeholders and discuss subsequent optimization measures. By following the above steps, effective design validation can be conducted to ensure the quality and effectiveness of the design. The validation process should be continuous, adapting to the product's continuous iteration and optimization. This approach ensures that the product design continually meets user needs and achieves the intended business objectives.